Hey guys, my name's David. On this episode of Unusual Foods, I'll be doing a taste test of this here, which is the Thousand Head Kale. So I've got a small little row of it here. I'm gonna let some of it grow bigger, but for doing the taste test, I'll be eating this raw, so they'll taste better when they're smaller like this. And in general, kale, if you eat them, the leaves smaller, they'll taste better. Here we go. Okay, so I've got a nice, nice perfect leaf here. Good color to it. Make sure there's no bugs on it. I have noticed a few um, aphids in my yard recently, which is just obnoxious. So for eating kale raw, um, it's best to massage it first, or just eating it in general is better to massage it, unless you're gonna cook it or steam it. But I'll try half of this not massaged and half of it um, massaged. So first off this piece, Hmm. What I noticed about this, the thousand head kale, it's really like buttery and creamy. It's like someone slathered a bit of avocado on here or something. It's really good. This is my favorite kale I've ever had. It's just like a really creamy, rich taste to it. You can even just eat it raw like this and it's good. Uh, I've never, I have tried this before, um, probably like a couple weeks ago when I first had a couple leaves coming up, but I haven't tried this massaged. So if you're wondering what massaging is, it's just literally, you massage it until it turns all dark. And this often gets rid of a lot of the bitter taste in kale. If you have a big bowl that you can just crunch it, just keep squishing it until it turns dark like this. You're just kind of like wilting it or something. For whatever reason, it makes it taste a lot better. So, okay, so this is nice and massaged. I won't eat the stem until afterwards just so it doesn't play with the taste. Mm. Yeah, it makes it taste better. Yeah. Very nice. Creamy. Buttery. It's like a... Yeah, it's just like there's avocado on it or something. It's just really creamy and yummy. I'm gonna let some of these go to seed so I can grow this next year because it's really good. A stem. I mean, it's okay. When it gets bigger, you won't be able to eat this. Yeah. So, I mean, definitely my favorite kale ever. If you're ever going to grow some, I would recommend getting this thousand head kale. There's a little infestation of aphids. Oh man, it sucks. I'm going to have to start harvesting all this because they're going to just kill everything. I hate these stupid things. For whatever reason, they eat like they just congregate on one leaf. So I'm going to throw this across the street like right now. Okay, so I just wanted to throw in a quick little clip here at the end. I, I just cooked some of this um, thousand head kale and I'm going to try it for the first time cooked. Hmm. It's a lot more chewy than I expected after it being cooked. Um, usually kale kind of, you know, becomes pretty easy to chew through, but this is actually still pretty tough. Um, it's not bad, it's just, you know, it's more chewy texture. It's kind of got like a, I don't know, no bitterness, pretty nice taste to it. It's not as buttery though. I actually enjoyed it like massaged and raw. It tastes better like that. You get the nice buttery avocado kind of layer taste to it where well, this kind of removes that and you're just left with it the chewiness of it so yeah i'm gonna definitely say um stick with this one raw and just massage it put a nice like peanut sauce or something on it sesame sauce something like that so hopefully you enjoyed this episode you learned a little bit about thousand head kale if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe join the channel join all that riffraff <laughs> until next one have a great day